Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Two thousand years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the twelve tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Right now, we're, we're unfolding, unlocking the mysteries of the Bible. We're showing what God calls us, not what, awesome. I what we're being called. This. We call African American. America the best pictures, and Leo Skippy is Africanist. Like Those are you. two white men. So can two white men make a black person? We have the land. Can we go to the land? They call us black, black. Can we go to the land of blacks? What army do we have as black? What economy? What money system? There's no resume. Black. There's no nationality. Black. What's behind black? It's made up. They put things behind it. That's like like our culture is hip hop. That's our culture. So Carly B. That's 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 what that's what people should. Uh, that's what represents us. That's what people should achieve to be. So now that they show you that in America, their thought is you can be anything if you want to. Right. But now. When God, when the Bible comes out, it's, it's telling you, you can't, you were born to be somebody. You have a legacy. You have a birthright. Right. You understand? Right. You know the Bible says you are God. You know that, right? You didn't know that? That's in the Bible. Right. You're not, you're not no African American. You're not a black, you're not Hispanic. You are a God on this earth. You are the judge on this earth. That's right, right. right. That. Psalms 82 and verse 6. Listen to what God calls us. Okay. Black men and, and Hispanic men. Listen. So, chapter 82, verse 6. Bring it out. I have said, ye are gods. Yes, right? Say, read that again. I have said, ye are gods. So God calls us gods. Us, right? You ain't never heard that. Psalms 82, verse 1. Uh-huh. Listen to what God says. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. Uh-oh. He judges among the gods. Amongst the gods, That's right. Right. who can have that claim? That's beautiful. No, but we special. We we beyond what we see. We're special. That's For us to go through slavery, to go through um, black holes, to go through all these tragedies that happened to us, and we still standing here, and we still and we still standing here. That means we're meant for something. Right. But what are we meant for? 
I'll be back, guys. What are we meant for? I, I, I get it. I'm gonna... Give me, give me Psalms 82. Give me, read the last part. I'm gonna show you what we meant for. 82, verse eight. Arise, oh God, judge the earth. So we were, we were meant to judge this earth. I shall return. That's right. You understand? You know that again? Arise, oh God, judge the earth. So God is telling you, Batman, to judge. Arise. How do you rise? How do we get out of this condition? That's what he's telling you. Arise, oh God, and judge the earth. How do we get out of these conditions? Brother, how do we get out of these conditions that we're in? How do we get out of these conditions that we're in? The Bible's telling us to arise and judge the earth. Yep. Huh? Yeah, we, we, got, we, got, we definitely got to come together. Everybody's not on the same page. Not, everybody's not on the same page. I'm with this sister. He's right. How do we, I'm asking you, though. We can't change, I like that. That's revolutionary. We can't, so we can't come together. One people say yes and somebody say no. How do we change? Hey, and what's heavy about the scripture that we just read, read this one more time, arise, oh God, listen to this. Arise, oh God. When it says arise, oh God, who is God speaking to? What do you mean us? What is, who's God speaking to? Something? Is he talking to all of his people? Which of his people? Uh, something else. I wish I had a thing. There you go. Black men. When he says arise, oh God, he's not talking about the woman. The black woman isn't God. You understand? <laughs> because, because, no, no, no. The reason why I'm reading this part, I want to show you something. This part is important. Hold that. Go to 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. Bring it up. In some of our different neighborhoods, you get brothers with the doctrine of the black woman is God. She's my queen. That's not in the Bible. You, when, you, when you read about the woman in a position of power like a queen, most of them were evil. The only righteous queen you read about is Esther. Esther. That was the only righteous Esther. queen you read about. And the Lord used her for that. Yeah. But the black woman being God, no. So when it says arise, oh God, it starts with the men. Showing you what? You can't judge. You don't even say, oh, you can't judge me. Only God can judge me. No. You're supposed to judge. Right. So listen to this. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. But I would have you know. So Paul is going to remind the black family. Paul, listen close to those words. Paul is going to remind us, our family, listen. That the head of every man is Christ. So when we are getting our lives together, when we are getting our families together, Paul says, brothers, your, our head is Jesus Christ. His example in how he dealt with the people, his close kinship of the apostles, his examples in the Bible, we got to follow that. Watch this. And the head of the woman is the man. So who's the head of the black woman? The man. The man. The man. But what if the woman makes more money than you? She's still the woman. But is the man still the head, even if the woman makes more money? Yeah. Yes. Why? Because God says so. That's right. You understand? Some women feel as though because I have a master's degree and we're married or we're dating, we're going towards the direction of getting married. You don't get to dictate or tell me what to do. God says the man is over the woman. Come on. And the head of Christ is God. And who's the head of Christ? God. Showing you what? Order and structure. Do you know why black people, our race, why we lead in divorce rate? Because in our families, there's no order or structure. For example, give me Ephesians 5.22. Here's what the Bible says. When you look at, sometimes look at the statistics. Go on Pew PEW Research Center and look at the statistics that they'll tell you about certain Hispanics, certain African Americans, West Indians. Look at those numbers. The divorce rate, we're number one. HIV rate, we're number one. Children born out of wedlock, we're number one. So when you come into our culture, when you look at our family, it's broken down. So that's why in our neighborhoods, what do you see? Arab stores, 
Chinese stores, Caucasian businesses, uh, East Indian businesses. Why? Because all races see black people have no structure. So what do you do? Take advantage of them by making money. What are we showing you? We're showing you the Holy Bible. We're showing you God's word is what's going to fix the family structure. Right. Listen to this about the woman. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Wow. So he's addressing the woman. This is the black woman and the Latina woman. Why? All right, don't run now. Submit yourselves unto your own husband. The Bible tells the black woman to submit to the black man. Do you know a lot of black women don't like that part of the Bible? They try to get rid of that part. They say, oh no, no, Jesus is my savior. No, the Bible says the man, you're supposed to submit to him. That's Even right. if you have more education, right. more finances, it right. doesn't matter. Right. If that man's in the Lord, you're supposed to submit to him. Read it again. Words, submit yourself unto your own husband. Because a lot of black women, when the black man comes home, what do they do? They want to run their mouth. They want to talk about bills. Silence. You understand? The black woman has to learn how to love the black man. Bring it up. That's how right. does she learn that? By reading the Bible. That's right. Bring it up. I'm going to show you the proof of that. Finish this. We're going to show you the proof. They don't read this part in church. Church is dancing and singing. But when the scriptures talk about women being in subjection, the black woman being res respecting the black man, the black woman don't understand that language. Bring it up. But if she believes in God, She'll listen. Read. Words. Submit yourselves unto your own husband. Did it say submit yourself to the pastor of the church? No. It said submit yourself to your own husband. Right. Read. As unto the Lord. Just like you submit yourself to the Lord, you submit to your husband. Why? Because he's playing the position of God. the scripture says, even as Christ is the head of the church. Paul compared, like Christ is the head of the church, the husband is the head of the wife. When black women hear this, they get angry. They get angry. But your wife is doing good so far. Listen good. And he is the savior of the body. And the Bible says Christ is the savior of the body. Listen good to this now. Get Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. About the woman and the and the husbands. Listen good. Because this is what we need. I'm going to show you. Because, listen, in school, teachers, they can, listen good to this. In the public school system, a lot of East Indian, Caucasian teachers, a lot of them live in good neighborhoods. A lot of them. I don't want to say all, but a lot of them live in good neighborhoods. But they don't come to our neighborhoods, work in our schools, and they'll see how broken our families are. And on parent-teacher conference night, they'll see, oh, that's why little Ray Ray is like that. <laughs> Mom and dad didn't show up to him. So mom and dad might not be so involved in his life. Oh, that's why he acts like that. Now they gossip about the child. Oh, but mind you, it could be that maybe it's bad parenting. One, it could be that the parent may work two or three jobs. They're just too tired. But this is how the other races, this is why they talk about us. Man, look at black people. Look at them. Oh, man. Oh, how do you live your life like that? So, how do we fix our family? How? You, there has to be a unity in the marriage. Here's the Bible. Listen to this. Surah, chapter 25, verse 1. Watch this. In three things I was beautified. The Bible says in three things I was beautified. Watch this. And stood up beautiful both before God and men. What are the three things? Let's listen good to this. The unity of brethren. The Bible says it's always good to see the unity of brethren. Come on. The love of neighbors. The love of neighbors. And look at this last part. Watch this, brother. A man and a wife that agree together. The Bible 
says a man and a wife that what? Agree together. That's right. Meaning what? The man and wife have to believe in the same thing. Right. The man and the wife have to believe in the same thing. You understand? I'm going to show you something. Part of that is guess what? Having marriage papers. Being legally bound to each other. Get Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. How do you know? Titus chapter 2 verse 3. The age woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. The Bible says the black and Latin woman must be in behavior as becoming holiness. Come on. Not false accusers. Gossipers. Come on. Not giving too much wine. What does it mean, not giving too much wine? Yeah, not being drunk. Yes, I say it. Because guess what? Don't certain children see their mothers getting drunk? That, I don't know how you don't know how to live by. Live by. That can break up a family. Come on. In the Bible. Teachers of good things. The Bible says the black woman must be teachers of good things. Meaning what? She has to educate herself in God's word. So that way she can teach her child. That's what teachers can tell. Which children are taught from their parents? Which children learn from TV? Right. They can tell. Because your child is going to imitate what you show them at school. Get out. Come on. on then. That they may teach the young women to be sober, uh -huh. to love their husbands, uh -huh. to love their children. Showing you what? You have to learn how to be sober. You understand? You have to, sorry, you have to be sober. But look at this. To learn what? That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. You have to learn how to love your husband. That's taught. God says it'll come naturally. Right. God says, learn, love, because guess what? Some, I mean, some no, women, I lost my, my when the husband practice. tells them or corrects them on something that? that he doesn't like, oh, some women what do that? what? Scream at the husband. Raise their voice. The try to overtake him. Why? They learned that from, that's what their mother now, did to that. So they only imitated what they saw their mother do. The Bible says the woman must learn how to love her husband. How? The Bible. Oh, so sometimes I gotta be quiet. Sometimes I gotta listen to what he's telling Sometimes, even if he's telling me to do something I don't like, I still have to listen. That's what the Bible's saying. What else? To learn to love their husbands and what? To love their husbands. To love. God is saying they have to learn how to love their children. It's not, it doesn't, it's not taught naturally. Why? Some parents go too far when beating their children, right? Ain't that true? Some parents go too far. Why? Because of the hatred, because of the complex that they have of themselves, they take it out on what? The child. Now that child is going to grow up to be what? A monster. A, A monster. monster. You understand? What are we reading? Oh We're reading God's word. This is what's going to fix the family. This is what's going to fix the family. That's why we hit the streets to tell our people how to love themselves. That's right. Read this. Come on, keep reading. Watch this. Now he's going to dress the man. To be discreet, chicks, keepers at home. It says the woman has to be keepers at home. What do some women do to have children? They hit the what? The club. Some women have children and yet still go to the club. Right. Think about that image. Bring it out. Some women have children and they still go to the club. There's a club not too far from here, right? Right to not a couple blocks off of Suffolk Boulevard. And you see women coming out of the club, high heels. And some of them got two or three kids. But they focus on what? Having sex. Getting drunk. Come on. Good. Obedient to their own. Now watch what he addresses the man. Watch what he says about the man. That the word of God do not blaspheme. Watch this now. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. The Bible says, now you men, we're reading the principles that will set the nation of blacks and Hispanics in order. That's right. Listen to this. You know? Young men, in all things, show him thyself. No, no, no. Exhort to be, read that part. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. Sober mind. Oh, this world. Oh, my God. Sober means clear mind. You said drinking. 
that's true, get drunk. What else? Because think about it. There's certain jobs that's going to pay you 80000 90000 You do the drug test, and what happens? You fail. Now you lost a good job. Why? Because of the weed. You understand? You got to see the bigger picture. You got a family to take care of. You got kids to take care of. Shoot, you might still live at home with your mom. You can help her out. So listen good to this. Read this. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. So the Bible commands us to be sober-minded. The Bible doesn't say you can't drink alcohol. You can drink alcohol. It says not to be drunk. You can't smoke weed. You can't do heroin. You can't do molly. You can't, what's the other one? K2 or K20? K2. K2. You can't do K2. Come on. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. Showing thyself a pattern of good works. You ever see Chinese women? Chinese women. Are they known for being loud? Disrespectful? Now what is it? What is it about Chinese women? They're born that way? No. It's called training. Chinese men train their women to respect them. Japanese women, are they known for being loud? What, is it because they have this special gene? No. Japanese men train their women to be respectful. The Bible trains the black woman to respect black men. No. Right, right. You just gotta find the black woman that's gonna follow and accept it. Right. Like, you know what? This is right. Thank you. I got it. Come on. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. Come on. In doctrine, showing uncorruptness, uh -huh. gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned. It says sound speech that cannot be condemned. So these are examples of things we got to return to in order to what? Repair the family. Isaiah 3 and 12. We're about to close out. Isaiah 3 and 12. I'm going to show you another issue. Exactly. That's the, and those are the principles because... Right. Get 2 Corinthians 5.17. About repentance. 2 Corinthians 5.17. Listen to this. Watch this. How do you repent? How do you change? Give me... Now, we got 2 Corinthians 5.17, right? Now, hold that. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. We're going to go to... 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, and then 2 Corinthians 5.17. Now, watch this. Watch this. We're almost done, but I want you to see this. Go ahead. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. God's kingdom has to be built. We're building God's kingdom now because we're hitting the streets looking for the believing souls. You can't just wait for God's kingdom. You got to put in the work. That's right. Watch this. Be not deceived. Don't be tricked now when it comes to inheriting God's kingdom. Neither fornicators. Fornicators will not inherit God's kingdom. What's no. fornication? What's fornication? Going around having sex. Going around having sex. When you read Leviticus 18. When you, now when you read, now we know it's a little more subtle than that. We know the way it goes down make eye contact first. You know, you look at a woman, the way she look at you, you already know what that means. You just, all right, yo, I'll meet you in the back. Get the number. Set up the meeting. Someone will give you, someone will have sex with you the same day. Someone will say, you know what, I'm going to give them a week, a few days. The Bible says fornicators won't get God's kingdom. Leviticus 18 are the laws on fornication. One of the laws, you cannot have sex with your auntie. Do that happen in some families? Yes. In some families, do cousins have sex with each other? Yes. In some families, do you have people having sex with animals? Yes. You know what happens in Jamaica. They love having sex with that goat. You understand? But the Bible says you cannot have sex with the animal. In different countries, you read about different sins. See, in America, they're like, what the hell, having sex with animals? But go to Jamaica. It goes down. All the West Indian people stop it now. Because they know what's up. They know what's up. Come on. Read it again. Neither fornicators nor idolaters. Idolater is this. Worship.
worshiping God as a white man. That's idolatry. God, Christ, and the angels are black. Read out! Come on. Nor adulterers. Nor adulterers. Adultery is you're married and you're having sex. Sex? With what? A what? married woman. A married woman. You understand? Know See, he's playing games. Right. He's not about black people coming together. Right. You understand? Come on. Nor effeminate. The Bible says nor effeminate. What's effeminate now? <laughs> there you go. Meaning, the brother may not be a homosexual, but if you watch his ways, his mannerisms, he's acting like a woman. Right. The Bible says effeminate, you won't get the kingdom. You understand? Come on. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Abusers of themselves with mankind is a man having sex with another man. A woman having sex with another woman. Here in this society, is it I'm all right. A lot of people accept that. Two women having sex with each other. You understand? The Bible says that's not right. You ain't getting the kingdom. Come on. Nor thieves, nor covetous, not drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Now watch this next part. And such were some of you. Paul is listening. Some of the people that follow Christ came out of these lifestyles. So, that's the process of repentance. Whatever your sin is, you gotta stop. A lot of married men step outside their marriage and have sex with women on the side. Why? The wife may not be giving them sex regularly. The wife is always giving them a hard time. You ever seen the movie Dead Presidents? Remember when he came back from the war? The woman was always complaining about the bills, the bills, the bills. These are things that, you know what, let me step out. Why? Because she will shut the hell up. The Bible says, and such were some of you. Now, it's 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Now, when you change, you stop the sin. Listen to this. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. You know? Therefore, if any man be in Christ, if any man or woman decides, you know what? I'm going to get my life right. I'm wicked as hell. With all these things I'm doing, I'm going to change. I'm going to change. Come on. He is a new creature. The Bible says you're a new creature. All things are passed away. All the things you did in the past are passed away. If a woman was a prostitute, all the men she had sex with, the Bible says passed away. All of that is gone. Come on. Behold. Slate is white clean. Now he used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.